Hello, everyone, and welcome to the University of Rhode Island Computer Science and Statistics Department. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about Nmap, and we're going to learn how to successfully install and download Nmap on a Windows 10 operating system. Nmap, as I'm sure most of you are aware of, is, after completing this week's reading, is one of the most important tools available for most cybersecurity professionals. And you're going to start to learn that most cybersecurity professionals use uh, Nmap, um, as well as network engineers and system administrators. So the reason that most of these users use Nmap is because of the benefits that Nmap essentially offers um, most of these of these users. Okay, but before go, we go into the benefits, let's talk about what Nmap allows for us to do. So Nmap allows for you to scan network devices and determine what ports are open so that you can learn what services they're exposing on the network. Uh, it allows you to verify firewall configurations and perform various test and troubleshooting mechanisms and methods to ensure that uh, your network is functioning properly. And MAP is a tool that I often uh, utilize myself to check and test my network. Okay, so what are some of the benefits of Nmap? Uh, number one is Nmap is time to, it's a time-tested security and networking tool. It's an open source platform tool with a large community of support. So you can actually, you know, um, log in to their website and look at what's happening in the community. And the community does a very phenomenal job at contributing uh, towards Nmap. Um, Nmap is available for most operating systems. So you can download Nmap on Linux systems on Windows systems and on Mac or Unix based systems. Uh, it's a uh, open and free source. So it's the source is freely published and it's free to download simply by going to HTTPS and map.org. So let's learn how to install and map on our Windows 10 operating system. So here's my Windows 10 operating system. In order to download and map, I am going to open up my web browser. And I am going to simply go to nmap.org. So I'm going to write nmap.org in order to launch the um, website of nmap. And I am going to look for the most stable um, release that's available. And if you want, you can go through the website and read a little bit about it. But usually, so nmap is now at version 7.70, is now available. So in order to download it, I am going to simply click on download. Okay, from there, it will um, bring me to this um, navigation page and ask me to download and set it up. So I'm going to scroll down here and it's going to show me the latest uh, available versions for um, Linux, but I'm looking for the EXE, which is the version that I'm going to use for my Windows operating system. So this is the version that I'm looking for which allows me to easily set up and download uh, Nmap, okay? So I'm gonna click on the Nmap 7.7 setup.exe and it will ask me to save the file, which I will do. And once it's done, I am simply going to click here and open up my Nmap, all right? So from here, I am going to agree to the terms and you're gonna notice a few options that are going to pop up here, okay? So the first thing that we want to talk about is the Nmap core files, okay? So Nmap core files allows for me to, so the Nmap core files includes uh, what is known as the Nmap scan, scan, scanning engine, okay? And it also has executables and it uses Visual C++, 2013, and various runtime components that I can also uh, utilize in Nmap, okay? The next thing that you're going to notice is the registered Nmap path. So it registers paths to the system so you can execute it from any directory. So the registers path allows for you to execute um, Nmap from the command line in your um, com um, PowerShell or in your terminal in your Windows operating system. Okay. Then we have the NPCAP. Again, we want to make sure we have these selected. I'm just trying to go through them. Okay, so the NPCAP um, is a packet capture library, which is required um, for running Nmap scans. Okay, so that library is very, very uh, central. Then you have the network performance, which is another key um, aspect of Nmap. So it, it allows you to improve and optimize your system for 
running various scans that you will be uh, running using Nmap, okay? So the Zenmap GUI is the graphical interface that, or the front end interface of Nmap that really allows for us to run and see what is happening. Then you have the um, NCAT modern. Uh, so the NCAT, again, it's basically what's replaced, uh, it's Nmap's and NetCAT replacement. So the NetCAT allows you to read and write data to network connections from the command line. So you definitely want to make sure that you have that running and functioning pro properly, okay? And then you have the NDIF, which is the next option here. So the NDIF um, allows you to compare the results of two NMAP scans. So it's very important that you have that selected. You definitely want to be able to compare results from two scans to determine which scan may be abnormal or have some kind of um, issues that you might have not been aware of the first time. Okay. Um, the, then the NMAP update, which is uh, actually let's talk about the NPing. I didn't talk about that. So the NPing is essentially one of the utilities that allows you to generate packets, right? Um, it allows you to generate packets uh, that provides um, enhancements over um, the typical basic ping command that just sends packets back and forth, okay? The Nmap update is essentially um, what allows your Nmap to update with the latest um, releases that are out there, all right? So then we're gonna click next in order to finalize the download and we're gonna click install, okay? So again, the update is really important because it really allows you to provide with the Nmap components. And I'm gonna select, I agree, and then install. And once you basically do that, you have been able to successfully um, download Nmap in your Windows 10 operating system in your virtual machine. So that is all that you will need to do in order to successfully download Nmap in your Windows 10 operating system. Once you download it, you can definitely double click on it to launch and map to make sure that it is working and functioning properly. And as you can see here, my end map is running and working because I have I can set targets, I can set a profile, I can do a typical scan to see exactly what is going on. So those are the steps you will take in order to install and download and map for a Windows 10 operating system. Thank you for watching.